Chinese and Indian interests are circling Australia's burgeoning uranium industry and Australian miners think that yesterday's government approval for a new uranium mine is the first of many to come. Desley Coleman reports. Australia has one of the world's largest supplies of U308, also known as uranium oxide. This week's announcement by the Federal Environment Minister Peter Garrett to give the go-ahead for a fifth uranium mine has quashed the 1984 three mines only policy, which previously limited the uranium operations in Australia. Now we have a national political consensus in favour of uranium. Uh, the governments of three states favour uranium and, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's hard to understand why the remaining states uh, uh, want to persist with their bans. The uranium industry is pushing its importance as a future cleaner power alternative to coal. While it's considered a mid-tier industry, the Australian Uranium Association says it has significant growth potential. Currently we export about 10,000 tonnes per year, uh, but uh, research we've done suggests that we've got a prospect of exporting 30 to 40,000 tonnes per year uh, by about uh, 2030 if we can maximise our exports. And uh, uh, in terms of the economic impact, uh, that will mean an addition of about $17 billion to Australian GDP in current dollar terms. Currently, Australia has three commercial uranium mines, the Northern Territory's Ranger Operation and in South Australia, the Olympic Dam and Beverly Mines. The recently approved Four Mile Mine is 550 kilometres north of Adelaide. While it's unlikely to rival the iron ore industry, its pricing structure is similar, with the majority of Australian uranium exports locked into long-term contracts around $65 US dollars a pound. The spot price climbed as high as $136 US dollars a pound in June 2007 on supply concerns, but it's now sitting at $52 US a pound. In terms of pricing going forward, you know, it's a relatively small mine on the world stage, um, important certainly for, for Australia and, and what it represents. Uh, but in terms of pricing, we actually don't think it's going to affect uh, pricing of, of the end product at all. Uranium producers say supply concerns has reignited interest from Indian and Chinese utilities that are now looking to switch from coal-driven power. The companies that look for the radioactive iron ore, like Perth-based explorer New Era, are now fielding calls from the developing nations. We've been getting increasingly regular contact uh, with both Chinese uh, and Indian utilities and uh, those discussions essentially centre around uh, their desire to put their foot on uh, future supply of uranium. Martin Blakeman says the move to allow a fifth uranium project will attract more international attention. As explorers we have to have and investors in the uranium business have to have confidence that uh, at the end of the day we can achieve our, our goal which essentially is production of revenue. This decision has given us uh, uh, explorers confidence that uh, we can achieve our end goal. The uranium industry is now betting on the race for the next mine site approval, with short odds on BHP's West Australian operations.